Stenter. Leaming once more. There is Myler in the line. Rich Martin looking for a way through. Strong, strong, oh, strong. Got, it's very strong. What a try from Rich Martin. And Headingley in 2022, one of the best kickers in the business. And there he goes. Try Martin, goal Martin. Gibson. Myler gets the kick away. And I didn't think that he'd play again. Like a late hit on Myler. Uh, and it is. I think, uh, was it Jake Connor? Yeah, we could hear the thought from here. Jamie Shaw. He doesn't miss many. And it's 8 0 in favour of Lee. Another shining lights in what's been a, I guess, a disappointing season. Sneed with the kick through, and there's the bounce, and there's the try for Danny Houghton. Well, well, well. First attack, first try. Danny Houghton in his 15th season at home, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the black and whites are back in it. And busy as ever. There is Jake Connor, Tweeba Barbe. But Hobson delighted to have Carlos Tweeba Barbe back in his side. Such a key component for Hull FC, right on that try line. And they get the penalty. Myler and Pryor interfering at the play of the ball. Um, I think they're going to level this up uh, at eight apiece. They get to the playoffs. I guess after the run they've been on, that will be regarded as, as a success. And here comes Sneed with the kick to the corner. And that was dropped and it picked up by Carlos Trivadale. And Mark Sneed at the double twice. The boot of Mark Sneed has caused all sorts of problems. And this time the error pounced on by Carlos Trivadale. And Hull, for the first time, hit the front. Myler, Bodine Thompson. Really good opportunity here for the Rhino, Dwyer. Myler, they go to the right now with Cruz leaving. Options of Newman. Oh, yeah, wow. what a brilliant try! What a score from Harry Newman. There looked to be nothing in it, and he brushed aside the defenders. And Newman, well, that is the talent of the man who many think could be one of the best of the Super League era. Cobber goes high, it's a swirl, oh, oh, it's going to be difficult, and that's a penalty. Picked up by Levy, but it's a penalty for yeah. offside. He's offside. What a kick that was, it was always going to be difficult for Luke Briscoe, so it proved. Incredible fashion, you know, 106th appearance for Hull, Steve goes for a, a 40-20 there. That's going to be a great kick, I think he's got it. He knows it, he's side in an excellent field position here. Well, two massive plays from Jake Connor. The first resulted in a two-point penalty for the black and white. Well, this resulted for Connor himself going for the line. As he managed to get the ball down, Hull are celebrating. They think it's a try. So does Robert Hicks. That could be an amazing piece of skill. Oh, wow, what a kick! Jake the Snake, the magic man at St James's Park so far, but Leeds, you feel, have to score next. Here is Leeming. Newman. Great feet. Oh. Brilliant individual try in the first half. Do you know, at half-time at the stadium here, they've invited Keith Senior to speak on the mic. He talked in glowing terms. The former Leeds Rhinos great about the current Leeds Rhinos great centre. Here is Briscoe, offloads to Newman. Newman for leaving! Well, that is a try out of absolutely nothing. Well, Barry, you called it. A lovely little slip pass from Harry Newman. Cruz leaving on the wing. That looks good. It's good enough in off the post. It's a four-point ball game. 24 points to 20. Yeah. Even a broken clock. Dwyer again. Thompson. Oh, desperate defending from LFC. Houghton in there. Sibelio is in there. So with Jordan Johnston. Myler, it's a great ball from Myler for Broadbent, and Broadbent finds a way through! Jack Broadbent, he has been out for two and a half months, 
and he is back to draw Leeds level with another superb try. Jack Broadband, 20 years of age, will celebrate for the lead. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Leaving it is. They go for it with Myler and with Newman on the last. The offload, Richie Myler is brought down. And that is that. In all the years of Magic Weekend, we had three draws, and now we're having golden point extra time in back-to-back -back games. Myler now trying to set play going. Briscoe, brilliant offload there. Hanley now down that left-hand side. Ash Hanley, fantastic tackle, had to be by Jamie Shaw. It's the last one. Briscoe now, a crossing comes for Leaving. Oh, oh, oh. Cruz Leaving on the run, on the fly. There's the despair. Bully Iowa. What they give for Luke Gale Here in this is. situation. It's the last one, and it goes back to Myler. Myler again with the opportunity to win it for Leeds. Well, they've had two fantastic opportunities. First Leaming, then Myler under pressure. Last tackle. Is the impossible going to be possible? Oh, oh, Steve, big chance down. Now a chance here for Harry Newman. Newman can win it for Leeds. Newman cuts inside. Newman still going. Newman goes to ground with the charge down and the pick up from Harry Newman. And now it's the golden opportunity, the golden chance in golden points extra time once more for the Leeds Rhinos. Incredible drama. Luke Briscoe brought down Dwyer from dummy half. Cameron Smith. Charged down to the ground. Desperate, desperate defending for Hull FC. Back it goes this time. Oh, oh it's oh, a crossbar! Oh. You would not believe it! <laughs> Police Martin off the crossbar! Hull survive! Wow! Unbelievable! Bruni Iowa now. Gotta go now. Five yards away from the line. Gotta go now, Stuart. Is this the moment? Is this the moment? Two minutes to go of Golden Point. Cruz leaving. Cruz leaving with the first drop goal of his career. Wins the most amazing game for the Leeds Rhinos. Is that the end of Hull FC's season and their dreams of the playoffs? Richard Agar and Leeds celebrate. They go fifth. And the way things are going now, it looks like Leeds are going to go to the playoffs. There's the error. The poor play the ball. And the punishment, it was capital punishment from Cruz leaving.